uh, well, if you are foreign investors and you want to invest in Kuwait, you have many different options to enter Kuwait. KFIB is one of the options available. Um, it's, again, it's dependent on how you want to invest in Kuwait. Do you want to go ahead with the local partners? What type of percentage are you going to go ahead? You know, you want to establish a company full of foreign ownership, no need for Kuwaiti local partner. Uh, what type of project you want to go in? It's all, it's, it's all an option available for the investors to choose from, whether he can go through KFIB or he can go through the normal procedure of the Ministry of Commerce or he wants to take one of the investment opportunity available in the offset company, or maybe he wants to bid on one of this mega project and enter a consortium in the PPP. It's, it's all his option. It's his decision to choose. Well, uh, for the time being, and we'll say, alhamdulillah, we don't have risk uh, to invest in Kuwait because at the end of the day, we have a transparent legal system and uh, the investors uh, know how to get their rights. Uh, everything is clear and transparent and, and it's accountable. Um, it's not risk. What the, the, the obstacle they face in Kuwait, probably I will say it's the uh, uh, bureaucracy. Uh, and that's something the government taken under consideration heavily. And uh, they are working very hard on that. And we are seeing the progress of that, that the, the government agencies start sitting to, you know, with each other to fix this issue. So uh, we here in KFIB, we... we we are seeing changes in the government agencies. They are really trying to reduce their steps and reducing their bureaucracy, especially with the you know, electronic linking with all the government agency, which is project going underway. And uh, we are very optimistic and, and um, we have a best to feeling about this. And this hopefully within a few short term, it will be gone, the bureaucracy. It will be much easier for investors. So yeah, we have a, we have a very positive outlook for them. Just at the end of uh, this, I think the now with the, the government for the past few years and now the government is fully committed to developing Kuwait economy and, and make it more uh, friendly env environment for investors. Plus the government is trying to diversify its uh, dependency on oil and, um, and one of the sources to, to diversify your income is to, you know, to attract investors. Uh, be Kuwait, in, her, in the case of Kuwait, we don't look for investors to bring their capitals because Kuwait exports capitals. But what we're aiming for is to attract the technology, the innovation, the added value for the Kuwaiti economy, and to help and create job opportunities for the Kuwaitis, uh, and I, which we do believe we have a high human resource here in Kuwait, which will help in any uh, investor uh, project. So we're seeing a very positive income, uh, outcome for the next few years. It's been started a few years ago and now it's a continuous process and uh, we are quite positive. And this is feedback not only for the government uh, agency but also from the investors. They're seeing the change in Kuwait and they're seeing that it is um, going in the right direction. So hopefully uh, we see the end of, uh, I mean, this result and it will be big, huge benefit for the investors and, and for Kuwait in general.